attitude towards women has changed since having daughters? Nah, I still look at my hub and... <laughs> <laughs> what kind of stuff do you look at? What categories? <laughs> Blacked is my favorite category. <laughs> you don't have to go into that. <laughs> You can if you want. But <laughs> I mean, what's the point of being Kanye West if you can't? Let's break down the yeah. Ye proclaimed easy porn is coming. This cheeky announcement sent the internet into a frenzy, sparking a wildfire of memes and reactions. Imagine from high tops to high art in the adult genre, only Kanye could stitch those words together. Some predict a revolutionary shakeup in adult film aesthetics, while others are just here for the Twitter commentary, let's be real. The memes are half the fun. Further stirring the pot, Ye has teamed up with Mike Moss, an industry veteran and the ex-husband of Stormy Daniels. Moss, known for his deep roots in the adult entertainment landscape, brings a wealth of experience and a touch of scandal to the table. So Kanye West will reportedly be entering the porn industry. Hey, it's Asia Sky for Hip Hop DX, and check this out. Kanye West is reportedly looking to bring his beautiful dark twisted fantasies to life with his own adult film company. According to TMZ, Ye is planning to launch a Yeezy porn studio, which will be a part of a broader adult entertainment division in his existing Yeezy empire. The outlet claims that Ye is in talks with Mike Moz, who is the ex-husband of porn star Stormy Daniels, who's a veteran in the business himself, to help him get the brand up and running. As for a launch date, Yeezy porn could make its debut as early as this summer. I could go 30 days to be celibate, you know, like really like I'm a monk. I'm being like faithful to God. And then I'll go like working out, no carbs, like my work weight will fluctuate. And I'll have times where I'm like, I don't feel like being told what to do. So I don't want to work out with a trainer. And I just want to drink this Hennessy. But I want to say this thing that I will text to Kim sometimes. I'll say, you know, you may not understand what I'm doing right now, but you will. And that's what I would say to everyone. Ye's history of shaking up the norms, from music to fashion, suggests that Yeezy porn won't be your run-of-the-mill adult side. We're potentially looking at a fusion of cinematic storytelling with avant-garde aesthetics. Will there be Yeezy design sets? Themed narratives that challenge our perceptions? The possibilities are as intriguing as they are endless. Insiders are buzzing about this unexpected pivot, speculating how Ye's penchant for controversy and Moz's insider knowledge could match. On the wrong side of the future. Wow. If you post on something negative, you're just on the wrong side of the future. Because, you know, we we out here stepping away from Adidas, like the shit that Kai sent to my. That's some industry plan shit. He yeah, gonna yeah. he gonna be talking yeah, shit about it. my pants. That's so so he's then, an industry plan. He's it, an of course, he's the opposite. Plant. Totally, the fucking that exact genre is the most industry plants. It's about like influence and mind control. And then he gonna mention my daughter's name a week later. It's like that. Don't mention my daughter's name and then you you dissing what's paying a two hundred thousand dollar a month child support wow that's the the billionaire yeah. child support is different yeah could this venture push the envelope in ways we haven't yet seen given ye's history with ambitious projects expectations are high and so is the skepticism critics wonder how ye's recent public and divorce and personal revelations will influence the creative direction of this venture I know Everybody asked me, I know every, I know everybody asked me the question. They wanted to know what kind, I knew he's going to wild out and he's going to do something crazy. Everybody wanted to know what I would do if I didn't win. 
I guess we'll never know. Meanwhile, fans are eager to see if Yeezy porn will carry the same innovative signature that Yeezy sneakers and apparel have. Now let's address the elephant in the room. Not everyone is riding the yay train on this new venture. The shift from gospel-themed albums to launching an adult entertainment platform has more than raised eyebrows. It sparked a full-on firestorm of backlash. From religious communities to longtime fans, Many feel betrayed by what they see as a radical departure from the faith-centric messages he's promoted in recent years. You know what I'm saying? The 808, the 808 exists in the lowest chakra of your body. The majority of content that's related to the 808 is killer or sexual content. The original 808s was even off pitch. So that meant it's an actual sound in the track that you don't realize is there that is fuck your entire you are, right. frequency. Right. Right. And now, today, every time I hear a car come out, it's 808, but if you think about African music and hip hop and what we break it to, break dance to, it was light. The percussion. It was upbeat. Right. Mm. It was the drums. Mm. Now it's like, and all of this is a bigger, and it's like, man, you know, at this point, it's like, they should have killed me when I said George Bush don't care about black people. I ain't got nothing to say, you know? Kanye West has a porn addiction. I'm Dr. Rena Malik, a board certified urologist. And I'm gonna break down exactly what a porn addiction is and why it happens. We as humans are programmed to want sex. And sex releases a chemical messenger in our brains called dopamine. And dopamine is a very feel good hormone. When someone watches pornography, their brain releases dopamine. In people who are predisposed to having this addiction, it upregulates pathways in the brain so that you start then craving pornography and it changes the circuitry in your brain. Then people develop the characteristic signs of addiction, impulsivity, the constant urge to watch pornography, compulsivity, the need to do it repeatedly and over and over again, weakened executive functioning, that you can't do the things that you normally do because your brain's not thinking clearly. And then you get desensitized, meaning that you need new and novel types of pornography to get the same level of dopamine and the things that you used to do with your partner are no longer enjoyable. And lastly, you get dysphoria, meaning that you just feel unhappy and unsatisfied with things in your life. If you find that you're struggling with these issues, make sure you go and seek professional help to help you overcome this addiction and go back to living a normal and healthy, satisfied life. His journey has been anything but predictable. Remember his Sunday service choir and gospel albums? Those this project painted a picture of a man on a spiritual quest, leading many of his followers to believe in a new chapter that aligned with their own beliefs about faith and redemption. So you can imagine the jolt when Yeezy porn flashed across their screens. And it's not just fans, several collaborators from the gospel period have publicly distanced themselves. Ye himself has spoken out against pornography in the past, blaming it for personal and family strife. So what does this mean for the future of Ye's career and his influence? Can his fans base reconcile this new Ye with the one they thought they knew? Whether this is just another layer of his multifaceted persona or a deeper recalibration of his values, it underscores the ongoing tension between past convictions and present realities, leaving us all to ponder what lessons Ye might next impart about about growth, change, and the human condition. In this clip, Ye candidly talks about his struggles with pornography and how it destroyed his family. To trafficking. Like, for me, Playboy was my gateway into full-on pornography addiction. My dad had a Playboy left out at age five, and it's affected almost every choice mm. I made for the rest of my life mm. from age five to now having to kick the habit. And it just presents itself in the open, like it's okay. And I stand up and say, you know, it's not okay. Look, any form of perversion is bad in God's eyes. Any form of pornography, like it tears apart families. It's used to tear families apart. You know, if it's a dad looking at what, you know, Pornhub, he's still looking at somebody's daughter. And a lot of the women that end up in pornography are actually products of molestation. And they're reliving that trauma every time they get on camera. 
So in Hollywood, people say, okay, this is right, but this is wrong. It's all wrong in God's eyes. Thank you for joining us on The Realm as we explore the complexities behind the headlines. Don't forget to subscribe for more deep dives into the stories shaping our world. Good night.